Yes, Samzanti, welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. And like we promised you, let's bring on some stories of inspiration. And let's get the show on the road. Now, joining us right now is Bronwyn Leaf, who is the founder, director and conductor of Cape Town's Children's Choir, as well as the founder and conductor of Junior Choir of Cape Town Children's Choir, Colleen Hart in the building. So let's take a look firstly at what the choir is all about, and then Please. we'll get into some conversation. <laughs> Just because oh. some of the choir are here, can we give them a resounding feel good yeah. welcome to your feel good breakfast show? Um, see, you're still clapping for your, for your <laughs> choir. I love that. I love that. That is absolutely beautiful. Um, ladies, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I know you have very busy schedules. Um, and this is loaded onto that as well, um, which begs the question how this came about. When you're starting to make waves, making an imprint like this, not just on their lives, but within the choir scene, let's call it, um, you're getting it right. It had to start somewhere. What was this kind of, where was the seed first planted? I had been conducting um, junior school choir and senior school choir for quite a number of years. And I had a look around the Cape Town area and I'm from the southern suburbs in Cape Town. And there really wasn't a choir that could um, meet the needs of children in the area. That would be a choir that would draw children from all over the city um, and that would be able to work towards excellence and just building friendship and just creating a community of, of yes. families and children. We have the Tigerberg Children's Choir in the northern suburbs. Obviously, they're very well known, yeah. but there was nothing on our side. And so I really felt like we really needed something mm. for, for the children on this side of town. And that's where the idea started. And I started talking to people and got excited mm -hmm. and had a, a, a colleague, Ann Meyer, who joined me on this project. and. Um, uh, Helen Stabry, she joined us as well, uh, so I'm not working alone. <laughs> this wasn't just my vision, it was a combined vision of a number of people and that's where we started. So you're just really, really competitive and you want to beat the Northern Suburbs. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. No, 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 not at all, no. not at all. We've got a very good, we've got a good relationship with Karina uh, no, Erasmus, yes. Uh, because it, it is a community, and mm. I'm so glad you used that word. It's not just for the kids, it's for the families, it's the support structures mm. around that. Love that yeah. connection. With that being said, I mean, obviously community is great, but what's the actual purpose behind a choir? Mm. I mean, yes, it's to obviously create on the surface, great, great music, music. Yeah. music. But I think it goes deeper than that, right? I, I, I reflect on some of the time that I had as a kid uh, being in a choir. There's pressure that you have to deal with. There's obviously working in a, in a group environment. There's so many skills that are being harnessed. Why do you think it's so much more important than just the singing and just getting together? Yeah, this, the singing and getting together is important. Um, but I always say um, it, could, it could be anything. It could be a dance group. It could be... Um, a drama group but we just happen to be a group of singers and the children love to sing and it's something that they can be part of and be proud of it's something where they can grow as individuals they can develop their talent but not only that they can grow in confidence mm. um, grow in friendship maybe with other children who they might never have interacted sure. with before across the city which I find is one of the most special things it's wonderful to see them interacting on a Friday afternoon which is where we practice um, together as a, a, as a team for sure. and then they learn they learn uh, discipline they learn commitment they learn so much more than just what you're going to see this morning and they also learn music yes Colleen, yeah. and you get to, you get to be the custodian of that that first part of that journey with the younger kids which has yeah. got to be magical in itself what is that feeling like and i'm all about the feelings this morning when you get <laughs> to to see how these young people respond to that environment which has got to be something quite new for a lot of them um how do you enjoy what's the the best part of your role working with the little ones yeah you know it's a privilege to work with such little ones and it's a gift that that for uh, sure. that that they give us they trust the parents trust us and and just to let children sing without any, um, any, with confidence, actually, because you know so many, and for my junior choir especially, um, 
my particular age group is seven to nine, we don't audition because children's ages at uh, children's voices at that age are still developing. For sure. And, and so many potential pop stars, classical musicians come out of choir. So for us to have the seeds, I, I kind of think of myself like a gardener. You know, sure. I'm kind of throwing the seeds and I, who knows where they're going to grow, who knows where they're going to land up. Um, but that's my privilege to be able to do that. Well, our privilege is to watch these yeah. stories unfold, and I've got about 20 years of watching choir turn into mm -hmm. international artists, yeah. turn into winning an international competition on the biggest TV platform. Yeah. We see it every single day, so you are absolutely on the money. You're on the money, and I think for a lot of people right now watching, they are definitely inspired. Before we, we leave you to actually uh, allow us to see some of the magic, I think a lot of people have uh, their interest been piqued quite a bit from this conversation. How can they get involved? Mm. Just before we have you go, where can they see more of these uh, sort of in incredible events that are taking place? Let's plug the people in so they can hey. get involved with this magic. <laughs> Um, we would love people to get involved. So we've got uh, a, web, uh, a website, so they can find us on our website, Facebook, Instagram. Uh -huh. We've also got an email address, info at ctcchoir.co.za. And we are performing on the 18th of May at the City Hall with a, a choral fe festival, which is a whole lot of choirs from around Cape Town that are going to be performing at that concert. Mm. And we've got concerts planned throughout the year. So if they go onto our website, they can find all that information. Uh, towards October, we'll be doing a combined concert with the juniors for the first oh, nice. time. So that's going yeah. to be very exciting. And we've got some <laughs> exciting things planned for that. But yeah, we, we want the community to get involved in what we're doing. So next year, we're hoping to go on tour, hopefully to Mauritius, if we can get the funding. Oh, come so on. if, if there are businesses or yeah. corporates or individuals who think, wow, we really want to support this group of children, Please come on board, contact us. We would love you to be involved in what we do. And new members. We, we're and, and new members, exactly. We're always looking for, for the junior choir between seven and nine years old, boys or girls, and for the older choir, the senior choir, from the age of 10 upwards. And uh, yeah, and then they just get a hold of us. And uh, we rehearse on a Friday afternoon at Beausoleil. And World Choir Games next year, Bronwyn? Yes. Whoa! Oh, come on. Like it's I said, they're just so competitive that they had to form a choir so they could compete against everybody. Never mind the northern suburbs. You know, they want the world. Yes. Um, but it, it's more than just about a competition, though, because music is just a higher... Yes. Oh, no, it takes is. us to a higher plane. Yes. It, it's yeah. spiritual yeah, yeah, yeah. in whatever way you want to yes. slice it. We see for it, the love we of music. feel it yeah. on this show. So thank you so much yeah. for doing mm. what you do every day. Um, and I'm going to speak that into, into existence as well. If you are looking to back something that's going to get a lot of this kind of media attention this year, this is what you need to back. And we'll give you some proof in just a moment as the Children's Choir performs for all of us, mainly for Ryan and myself this morning. It's like a private performance. Um, but we absolutely love this kind of community building.